Hey, Wear OS developers. What's your app's authentication flow like? Is it as fast and simple as tapping a single button on your watch? As secure as modern industry standards? Can you reuse your mobile authentication code to implement it? No? Well, not to worry. Credential Manager has arrived on Wear OS and is here to save the day. Long gone are the days of open on phone prompts or entering two factor authentication codes. Credential Manager's simplified flow only requires a user's watch with no need for a nearby phone. You can also reuse your mobile app's credential manager code on Wear OS and across form factors. With passkeys, your users need only a single tap to authenticate with industry grade security. Speaking of passkeys, we get a ton of questions about them from our community. So I'm going to run you through a quick crash course. Passkeys are built on the principle of asymmetric encryption. An authenticator will generate a pair of unique, mathematically linked encrypted keys, a public key that's stored online with the service you're logging into, and a private key that stays securely on your device. When you sign in, your device uses your private key to prove your identity to the service's public key. Why is this considered so secure? Because your private key never leaves your device during authorization, and it can only be used if you authorize it. This makes passkeys resistant to server breaches, as a breach could only ever expose one half of the encrypted pair. And since there's no passphrase to steal, passkeys are virtually phishing proof. Using passkeys is simple. When it's time to log into an app, a user confirms their presence by inputting their device lock, and they're logged in. Users don't need to remember any complex passphrases and don't need any other devices around. Also, passkeys work across devices. All of this is why passkeys are the future. They are simpler, faster, and more secure than other authentication methods. Now, on to our implementation. Let's start with the basics, shall we? Credential Manager requires just one API call to authenticate, get credential. By setting up a get credential request with your authentication options, you can use the response to log in with your credential server. All right, that's it. Cut. No, still filming? OK, let's take a deeper look at things. First things first, let's get your users' credentials synced from their other devices to their watch. To do this, we'll add an entry for Wear OS in your digital asset links to associate your Wear app with the other form factor variants of your app, such as your mobile app. As always, be sure to precisely fill out the asset link entry. You'll need to copy your Gradle file's application ID for the asset package name and run a signing report in Android Studio to obtain your application's SHA-256 code. As the unique cryptographic hash of your application's digital signature, this is used by the FIDO backend to validate authentication attempts. So take care to store this carefully, as unintended use can compromise your application. Now we're ready to implement passkeys, the pinnacle of security for device authentication. For the Wear OS Credential Manager UI to present selectable passkeys, you'll furnish the Get Credential request with a Get Public Key Credential option that is built from the passkey specifications in your authentication server. Credential Manager uses this object to facilitate the passkey signing process carried out by your device, which holds the private half of the key pair. When a user selects a passkey, you'll invoke your authentication server's passkey sign-in method to verify the signed passkey data and log the user in. In some situations, users will need to unlock their watch before they can log into your app. Make one more server call that transmits the required passkey fields to verify the signed key, and the user is now signed in. Now for passwords. All you need to do here is add a password option to get credential. Route to the correct login method when the users select password authentication, and use the resulting credential to validate a user's name and password with your server to log your user in. Finally, let's learn how to handle federated identity authentication, like sign in with Google. This time, provide Get Credential with a federated option object. 
we'll use the Git Google ID option for this example. When retrieving credentials, Credential Manager will use this option to orchestrate a token exchange between the user's authenticated Google ID session and Google Identity Services. Once that is complete, you'll verify the type of the resulting token and then validate it with your server, logging the user in. And just like that, we've implemented all three of the Credential Manager authentication options. Before we close things out, let's take a look at how you can elegantly incorporate Credential Manager with your older authentication methods. You'll want to keep these around for a little while as a backup to Credential Manager. To access these, a user will tap Dismiss on the Credential Selection screen. This action will trigger a Git Credential cancellation exception for you to use as a condition to navigate to your legacy authentication screen. You can also navigate to your legacy flow if Credential Manager authentication fails for some reason. There is one exception to this flow, authenticated token sharing through the wearable data layer. If you've already implemented this and your app automatically signs users in, you can keep that as the first screen in your app flow. But remember, this approach is not always reliable as it requires an Android paired phone with a corresponding mobile app, so it must not be your only authentication option. Implement Credential Manager for a reliable, consistent flow that works without any other devices. Generally, you can keep all of your old authentication options if you like, but if you're using the deprecated sign in with Google button, be sure to turn that off on newer devices, since you'll now provide that option via Credential Manager. Bing, bang, boom. Credential Manager on Wear OS is ready for action. Let's recap. Today, we learned how pass keys work and why you should use them, the basic setup for Git Credential, how to sync credentials from other devices using digital asset links, the authentication options it provides, including pass keys, passwords, and federated identities like sign in with Google, and how to support backup options in your login flow. To get started implementing, check out our developer documentation and our UX guide. We also have a sample available with all the code I've shown you today. Credential Manager changes the game for Wear OS authentication, decreasing your development effort while simplifying your users' journeys. Bye, and happy coding. <laughs>